My name is Jared Kroll, and for my science application project, I'm going to be talking about the economic impacts of health and health problems on employers. Um, to start, I want to paint the picture a little bit. One in five men struggle with erectile dysfunction, and it ranges ages 20 to 39, it's about 5%, and uh, ages 40 to 59, it's about 15%, and ages 70 and over, it's about 70% of men have erectile dysfunction, but one in five struggle. And the, the, the research and evidence has pointed towards um, men with erectile dysfunction are more likely, about twice as likely, to have rates of being absent, um, impairment while present at work, and have productivity loss. And this is pretty consistent with any man who has erectile dysfunction, 18 to whatever, 20 and older. Um, this is a very real um, impact. That's twice as likely to be unproductive, to be impaired, or to be absent, as opposed to those who do not have erectile dysfunction. And what is erectile dysfunction? It's a very personal dysfunction. It's when erections that are uh, too soft for sex, erections that don't last long enough for sex, and um, an inability to um, get an erection. What, what causes this? Um, most people think that it comes with age, and it does. Like 70% of men 70 and older um, struggle with erectile dysfunction, but it's not just an issue for the elderly. It's an, it's an issue for all men. And what causes this is a number of issues. Psychological conditions is one. Psychological conditions like depression, anxiety, stress. There's also neurological conditions such as stroke, uh, Alzheimer's disease, and spinal cord injury. There's also hormonal conditions, prostate conditions, um, radiotherapy, surgery, prostate cancer, cardiovascular collection, uh, conditions, um, and it also can be induced by medications like antidepressants, antihistamines, and um, anti-hyperperspectives. Um, um, another huge issue that causes this is lifestyle factors. Lifestyle factors may include alcohol, substance abuse, obesity, um, and a big one, smoking. And we're going to talk a little bit more about smoking here in a second because it's a big one that not only will could cause erectile dysfunction, but could cause a number of diseases and issues and have problems with, with health for many. What, what can be done about this, though? What can be done about um, erectile dysfunction with treatment, prevention, one of the biggest things that is both a treatment and a prevention is putting the lifestyle choices on their head, giving up smoking, losing weight, exercising more often. Other things for treatment that could be done is medication, um, such as Viagra, um, Stendra, Cialis, and Levitra. Um, more things that can be done is injections into the penis, um, vacuum um, devices for ED, also called bumps, surgery, that's best if you are under 30 years old, implants, psychotherapy, and a big one is just lower your odds of getting ED ahead of time, exercising more often, avoiding um, alcohol and substance abuse, and keeping diabetes under control. But what I want to hit again is don't smoke. Stop smoking or don't smoke at all. One of the potential causes of ED is smoking, and smoking is one of the health, health issues that shows up over and over and over again. One journal says about 15% of aggravated um, health care uh, expenditure in high-income countries can be attributed to smoking. If we want to take steps in the direction of getting people more healthy, we need to look at smoking, and we need to look at how to stop smoking. Smoking also causes a lot of uh, economic cost to employers, to the economy. Um, World Health Organization, um, who estimates that the globally smoking, smoking causes over 500 billion in economic damage each year. 
um, the total productivity losses caused by smoking each year in the U.S. alone have been estimated at $150 billion. These stats just show that smoking causes significant economic costs in the, um, on the country as well as in the employers. Sexuality is a huge issue and a huge part of life and biology. Um, with one in five men struggling with erectile dysfunction, this is a huge issue that needs to be addressed because it's costing employers valuable productivity and valuable money. And smoking is one of the leading causes of it and a leading cause of many other sicknesses. So what do we do? I would encourage employers to do two primary things. First, encouragement is seek help. One study found that of European men self with self-reported ED, 50%, 52% did not discuss their condition with their physician. These men were more likely to have high rates of unproductivity and simply reaching out could, to a physician could have helped them extremely. And secondly, um, encouraging men to live a lifestyle that is healthy for themselves. Quit smoking, exercise, eat healthier, avoid alcohol and sus uh, substance abuse, keep diabetes under control. And doing these things will help men be healthier and it'll save companies loads of money because healthier employee is more productive. Thank you. Um, that was our discussion on economic impacts of erectile dysfunction and smoking on an employer.